Hey y'all, it's me P, and I'm back with another recipe. So y'all know I usually have Cajun food or soul food, but today we doing beef fajitas. See, I was vlogging at HEB the other day. I made a daily vlog, and they was giving out food samples. So you know I had to pick some up and come home and try it out, y'all. And it actually turned out to be really good. I'm glad I recorded it for y'all. Let's get into it. I have a lot of recipes on my channel. I already have them grouped in a recipe playlist, so please check that out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ask me any questions about any recipe. I will be happy to help you. And if you have a recipe you want to see, you can drop that in the comments too. So, with this beef, it's already seasoned. I actually didn't have to do anything but fry, slice it, and that was it y'all and then I, of course i sauteed the season so that's basically what this recipe consists of it was super easy um the most work was cutting the beef i didn't notice it wasn't cut before i took it out excuse my kids in the background they all the way in the back playing in the playroom and y'all still can hear them but um so yeah i just kind of let it sear on one side sear on the other i kept flipping it back and forth so it could evenly cook through especially since it's such big pieces of beef and um that's what i'm doing here what they had marinating in that meat but it was really really tender here it looked like they just got some pepper but the flavor was in there the flavor was definitely soaked into that beef so all i did right here was cut it down y'all can see it look cooked on the outside but it ain't on the inside and i ain't want to have no surprises at the end i want to get it a nice char on the sides and everything for when we eat our tacos our fajitas excuse me fajitas <laughs> and um yeah i just made slices and i tried to get them as thin as possible some pieces i made different like thickness thinness short and long and stuff like that so for the kids and for baby and stuff like that so that's all I'm really doing right here is just cutting it up and then I'm gonna put it back into the pan and finish frying it.
So this is how the beef turned out, y'all. I just put a little parchment paper on top to keep it high and keep it covered up. And I'm gonna take that same pan to saute the seasoning, the vegetables. So in that same pan, I'm gonna take these vegetables, y'all. These vegetables smell so good. I don't know if it was just by them sitting in the container together. They were so fresh, they smell amazing. Every time I open my refrigerator before I cook them, it was just a wonderful smell. So I took the same pan, I put a little more oil in the pan and I left the beef drippings and flavor because we want all it. We want it all. But I put that into the and I just, I kept tossing it around so it could be evenly um, sauteed. I don't want nothing too hard. Like it's nothing too charred and nothing still hard. Like, you know, crunchy. We want them nice and soft because when you eat a fajita, the onions and everything is so soft that you don't even know it's mixed in. Cause honestly, I'm not that person. I wasn't at first, at least. You know, my palate is growing. I'm getting older and I'm trying different things. And I actually haven't, I didn't try a fajita until I made it to Texas. I had my first real taco at like this uh, restaurant. And we actually did a vlog, it's on my channel. It's like one of our first vlogs when we had um, I forgot the name of it. I'll do the, I'm gonna drop the thumbnail here. But yeah, when we first got out here, that's when I had my first taco and it was like this. I remember putting the little onions and stuff on there and it was so good, y'all. So um, I be scared to like try taco trucks and stuff like that. <laughs> because of pop show, it's a mental thing. Y'all know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But if you are like you know not quite ready or you're not in the area to try them you could definitely do this at home if you don't have this already mixed up at your local store you could mix it up on your own use the same vegetables you could probably find you a beef fajita seasoning or something to marinate the meat i highly recommend marinating it because it's obviously marinated y'all it was really really good and after I saute my season, y'all see they nice and translucent, nice and soft. Um, none of them are burnt. I mixed it in with my beef just to give it that extra beef fajita flavor. And I wanted the beef to have the vegetable flavor and make sure it's all on there. And it was good, y'all. So the last thing I'm gonna do after I show y'all this quick picture, I changed my camera to 4K, y'all, so it's giving. But uh, I'm going to put my tortillas, my taco shells into the same pan with a little bit of oil, and this is how I prep them. I'm gonna only show y'all one, I'm not gonna drag it on. But uh, yeah, I got these from HEB as well, the medium soft taco shells and i'm just gonna prepare the taco here and let the shell get nice and you know soft and warm and all that good stuff the way they be doing it so So that's it y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this beef fajita recipe and i hope you like comment and subscribe and come back for some more see y'all in the next one